Target spot's a fungal disease of cotton that's been largely unknown for many years. It is caused by the fungus Cornespa cassiacola. It causes significant the premature defoliation and it may be also associated with some damage to the bowls as well. That's less clear, but what is known is that premature defoliation can happen very rapidly. It was first identified in 1961 in Mississippi and between 1961 and about 2005, 2006, it just disappeared. It first started being reported in southwest Georgia about 2006. Very rapidly after that, it was identified in Florida. It was very rapidly identified in Alabama. Since then, it's been identified in Virginia. It's been identified in Tennessee, Arkansas, and into Texas last year. So we know that wherever cotton's produced in the United States, with the exception of possibly Arizona or California, we know that target spot is there. Usually it starts in the lower part of the canopy where we have the longest leaf wetness period. It starts out as small brick red dots or small lesions and those quickly spread to larger up to marble sized lesions with a series of concentric rings inside. Very clearly target like appearance, very easily identified as target spot. Identifying target spot is extremely important and the reason for that is there aren't many foliar diseases that affect cotton but there are several. And if you misidentify the disease, you may treat the wrong thing. For example, Stemphilium leaf spot is very, very common in Georgia and in the southeast United States. Stemphilium leaf spot is associated with a potassium deficiency in the cotton. And the only way to manage that is with nutrient management. So in the way I talk to growers about identifying target spot versus alternaria or stemphilium or as follows. First, with alternaria and stemphilium, you will have some symptom, typically, of potassium or nutrient deficiency using a reddening of the leaves or some discoloration associated with nutrient deficiency. The second thing is the alternaria and the stemphilium leaf spot are a lot of times you'll see them in the top of the plant. They'll be in the upper part of the canopy. Most times target spot is going to start in the lower part of the canopy. A third way to distinguish them is oftentimes with alternaria and with stemphilium they're going to have an ashy center to the leaf and a lot of times they take a shot hole appearance where that ashy center blows out. That rarely happens with target spot. Target spot is likely to occur or the plant is susceptible at any time during the growing season. So when we're most likely to see it is in the interior of the plant when we have a good canopy development. Usually prior to the first bloom, we might see that, prior to pinhead square sometimes. If you have poor growth, if you have no rainfall, no irrigation, if the cotton crop is not developing well, if you can walk out in the morning and there's no dew on your pants, don't worry about it. But when you have high yield potential, high fertility, high input cotton, good irrigation, that's where we need to worry about it. The irony is, or the coincidence is, that for target spot it may not be a deficiency of a nutrient, but an excess of nutrient that may cause more of a problem. And that's where nitrogen comes in. Nitrogen by itself obviously doesn't cause target spot, but anything that's going to cause or lead to a more robust crop, more leaves, a denser foliage, better yield potential, excess nitrogen, or will create the conditions which are more favorable for target spot to occur. And excess nitrogen may be associated sometimes with tender leaves or less hardened leaves, and that also could make infection by the fungus easier. ProLine goes after diseases in cotton fields, even those under pressure from target spot, to maximize yield potential. Visit the CropScience website to learn more.